few recognize Carrie Kelly as a Robin, let's see if you recognize the next few Robins in this series. Pocos reconocen a Carrie Kelly como un Robin, pero veamos si reconoces a los siguientes Robin en esta serie. Now let's have a quick look at the list of what we need for this project. We need a Carrie Kelly from the Dark Knight series, and we need a Red Nightwing, an Infected Nightwing, and we also need the Dark Knight Returns Joker. And we need Hang Monk from the Avatar series. Para este proyecto necesitamos las siguientes piezas. El Robin Gary Kelly de la serie de El Caballero Oscuro. El Nightwing Rojo. El Nightwing Infectado. Y necesitamos también al Guasón de la serie de El Caballero Oscuro. Y Ang Monk de la serie Avatar. The only reason for purchasing this particular figure was for the three head sculpts. They're already painted, the eyes are well and detailed, it lends itself really well for the project of creating three young Robins. La única razón para comprar esta figura es por los tres diferentes rostros, porque se prestan muy bien para el proyecto de crear tres Robin diferentes. So this is by far the easiest disassemble project of anything because two of those head sculpts are already loose in the package and the other is just on a ball on the neck and you can just very easily pull that apart. If you want, you can heat up the figure to do so. Desmontar las cabezas, bueno, dos de ellas ya están desmontadas en el paquete y la tercera está en el cuello de la figura, pero puedes desmontarlo fácilmente con calentar la figura. So this is a very simple project. Let me show you what the first one looks like. And here we're using the wig from the Dark Knight Returns Joker, which I've obviously removed from the Joker by heating up the figure and removing it with a flat hitch screwdriver. Igual que la figura anterior, solamente removí la peluca o el pelo de la escultura, en este caso del Nightwing Rojo y solamente lo coloqué usando pegadura en el nuevo rostro que vamos a utilizar. So this is your red Nightwing. And I definitely just removed the hair sculpt and I will be attaching it to this new sculpt for the different look. This is now the hair sculpt from the infected Nightwing. Now keep in mind that you can change these hairstyles onto any of the three different face sculpts that you want. It doesn't have to be in the order that I'm showing you here. It's all up to what you want to see in your final project. You might have some others from other projects that you can swap out the hair sculpts from. I just happen to have these on hand. This is the Carrie Kelly body that I will be using to display the different heads that you will see in this video. Now, if you want, you can use just one body to do so. In my case, I went ahead and purchased a few more of these Carrie Kellys to display each one individually on the shelf. Esta es la escultura de esta figura que estaré utilizando para colocar los rostros del Robin que ahora se verán en este video. So now it's time to prep each one of these new face sculpts to be able to put the new wigs onto them. 
Now, out of factory, they obviously are painted, and the paint that they use on these figures comes off very easily using acetone. Just be careful that you don't erase the face, unless that's what you want to do, and that you don't use too much acetone or stay too long in one spot because it will melt your plastic. Ahora preparamos cada uno de los rostros para poder usar pegadura y colocar las diferentes piezas de pelo o la peluca a cada uno de ellos. Desde fábrica ya vienen pintados estos rostros, pero la acetona nos ayuda a remover tal pintura de manera más fácil y rápido. Ten cuidado que si usas demasiado o usas prolongadamente en un solo sitio la acetona, puede comenzar a derretir el plástico. Ten cuidado de no borrar el rostro, los ojos, etc. A menos que eso es lo que quieres hacer y pintarlos tú mismo. Now before attaching the new hair sculpt to the actual head, you'll have to prep it. And of course, in removing it, you definitely notice that there are some pegs inside the hair sculpt. Well, you're going to have to remove those to make it nice and smooth so that it fits flush against the new hair sculpt, or that should say the new head sculpt. So prep it before you glue it. And you'll have to do this for each one of the hair sculpts. Antes de colocar el pelo, Notas de que al removerlo hay dentro unas porciones de goma o de plástico que necesitas remover. Tendrás que hacerlo para cada una de las piezas antes de pegarlo a la nueva escultura o el nuevo rostro. I used Fabri-Tac glue to join the two pieces together. And just like the name implies, I allow it to become tacky before joining them together. It'll make your job that much easier. Now I did not use super glue because super glue will set down instantly. And if you've made a mistake in setting it down, it's gonna be difficult to pry it apart and start over. This dries a little slower, so it allows you to still move it and reposition it before it dries completely. Este es el resistol que utilicé para colocar el nuevo pelo en cada una de las diferentes esculturas o los rostros. Deja que el resistol se haga pegajoso después que lo aplicas por dentro y de esa manera tu trabajo de juntar las dos piezas será más sencillo. No utilices pega loca por la razón de que se seca muy rápido y si haces un error es más difícil despegarlo. Este resistol se seca más lento pero te permite hacer o colocar la pieza exactamente donde lo quieres mientras todavía esté por secarse el resistol. Now for video purposes, I have already used the epoxy sculpt to create the mask on two of the sculpts. I am now covering up with tape sides of the face so that as I use sandpaper, I don't scratch other details on the actual portrait. As you can tell, I am keeping the eyes because they did a really nice job in painting those in there, or if they're decals, well, they, they look really good. Now, if you want white eyes, then this is the time to paint them in before you actually paint the mask. 
Ahora, para propósito de video, yo ya coloqué la pasta sobre los diferentes rostros para poder hacer la escultura de la máscara. Cubres el rostro con una cinta para que no rayes el rostro utilizando la lija. Al finalizar, entonces ya puedes pintar tanto el pelo como la máscara. Let's talk quickly about the cape as this is already covered in another video that I will be publishing. Now this is the yellow cape that comes with Carrie Kelly. You'll have to cut out the collar at the top so that you can utilize it to create the collar on the cloth cape that you're going to be creating. And as you can tell the cloth cape is a material, it is a cotton material, it pleats easy and it is easy to work with. Do not cut your cape in a triangular fashion like this. It will not look good and it's difficult to work with. The actual cape on Carrie Kelly is a half moon. And although it has wires along the edges, and because they are ironed in and they are tacked down with glue that is not sewn together, it is actually very flexible and very easy to pose. And let me stretch it out here to show you what it looks like. As you can tell, it's a half circle and it is actually tapered at the top so that it creates a oval at the top around the neck. Then the folds or irons or pleats that are ironed in, I should say, then create the look on the cape itself. You can go with smaller pleats if you want. Larger pleats are just easier to work with. Recuerda que si vas a hacer el reemplazo de capa a uno de tela, Córtalo en una media luna y entonces puedes poner a la orilla el alambre. Recuerda que los pliegues son bien sencillos de trabajar si son más grandes. Entre más pequeños es más difícil, pero sí es posible. El alambre va en la bastilla a la orilla para poder sostener el peso de la tela mientras le das la pose. Y utilizando el mismo cuello de la otra capa, puedes utilizarlo para esta capa y sellar las orillas. Las gafas pueden removerse si deseas hacerlo. Todo esto está cubierto en el otro video que estamos por publicar. Now on the back of the figure when you remove the plastic cape you have these two notches or knobs. You can cut those off and then glue down directly onto those. You're not going to see it, so you don't have to repaint it and you don't have to sand it down. But if it is something that bothers you, then it's necessary to do that before you attach the cape. So let's recap the list of items we need for this project. We need a Carrie Kelly body. We need a red Nightwing wig or the hairpiece and also the infected Nightwing and also the Joker from the Dark Knight Returns. All of these hair sculpts will be on the Ang Monk avatar head sculpts that are in that package. Para completar este proyecto necesitamos lo siguiente. Necesitamos el cuerpo de Carrie Kelly Robin. Necesitamos el Nightwing rojo y también Nightwing infectado. Necesitamos el pelo de cada uno de ellos al igual que el guasón de la serie de El Caballero Oscuro y todo esto para los rostros de Ang Monk de Avatar. Cada uno de estos depende de tu gusto. Esta es solamente la versión pequeña de Robin antes que sea un adolescente. Make sure you seal all of your work with Mr. Super Clear or whatever it is you have on hand. In the meantime, I will leave you with a few clips of the finished head sculpts on the body. And we'll see you next time. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.